In this video, we're going to look at problems involving reverse percentages. What I'm going to start off with is a table of multipliers. This is not the only way that you can do these problems, but often it can really help. If we have 1.00 and we multiply this by anything, we're going to have now 100% of the original or no change. If I multiply something by 1.01, .01, we will have 101% of the original, or we could say that this is an increase of 1%. If you want, you can write this as a fraction. This is 101 of 100. We know percentage means out of 100, and this is now an equivalent uh, statement. 1.01 1 .01 is 101 of 100. If I have 1.02, this is 102% of the original, or if you like, it's a 2% increase. So if I multiply any number by 1.02, I'm going to increase its value by 2%. If I have 1.05, that is going to give me 105% of the original, or we can say that this is going to be a 5% increase. 1.10, or just 1.1, 1 .1, is going to give me now a 10% increase. This is one that's often got uh, mixed up, 1.01 .01 and 1.10. This is the multiplier for a 1% increase, this is 10%. In the same way, 1.2 or 1.20 is going to increase this now by 20%. Often students put that it's 2%, 1.2. That's why I'm adding the noughts. If you like, you can see this as 120 of 100. So if I multiply by 1.5 or 1.50, we're going to now increase the original value by 50%. We can work the other way and decrease. So if I just go ahead and put a line here, what we're going to have is a decrease. So I've increased my original. What I'm now going to look at is decreasing it. So the first multiplier that I'm going to look at is 0 0.99. This, if I multiply any number, is going to give me 99% of the original, or we can say it's a 1% reduction. If I do 0 0.98, I'm going to have a 2% reduction. So that's 98% of the original, or 2% reduction. 0 0.9 or 0 0.90, if you like, is a 10% reduction. So just putting these on. 0 0.75 is going to be three quarters of the original price, or we could say a 25% reduction. So it's 75% of the original or 25% reduction. 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 is going to give us half of the original or we can say 50% off. So if this was in a sale, we would have now 0 0.50 to show a 50% reduction. We're gonna work through a few of these basic examples and look at using these multipliers. So in the first question now, it says at a local clothes shop, there is a 10% sale on. A shirt is 29 pounds 70 in the sales. We're asked to find the original price of a shirt. A common error is to find 10% of this value and add it on. The way I like to set this up is to consider my multipliers. A 10% reduction is going to have a multiplier of 0 0.9 or 0 0.90. We could write this as 9 over, sorry, 90 over 100 or 9 over 10. It's entirely up to you. So what I'm going to say is the shirt, the original price of a shirt, which I'll call S, multiplied by 0 0.9 gave us the value of 29 pounds and 70 pence. So if I want to find the value, all I'm going to do is say that the shirt S is 29 pounds 70 divided by 0 0.9. That will give me now the original price. Straight for a calculator, so 29 pounds 70 divided by the 0 0.9, so 0 0.9 that gives me £33. So the original price is going to be £33. If we look at this now, let's just scribble that there, £33. If we think about this, 10% of 33, just writing this down, is equal to £3.30 or 
Now, if we decrease that value, we can see where the 2970 comes from. So all we're doing is dividing now by this multiplier. So let's have a look at another one. In a different clothes shop, a dress was £106.08 after a 15% reduction. What was the original price? So again, we've got now something that's going to increase. So when we're looking at our multipliers, our multipliers will always be less than 1. So in this particular case, we have a 15% reduction. So 15% reduction is going to give me a multiplier of 0 0.85. It's 85% of the original or 85th one hundredths of the original price. So all I'm going to do is write for the dress multiplied by 0 0.85. So this is the original price gave me £106.08. So I can simply write now that the dress originally was £106.08 divided by 0 0.85. You don't have to write this out as such. We can simply put now that the dress is going to be 10608 divided by 0.85. It's a 15% reduction. So if you want to put it as a fraction, we can put it as a fraction. 106.08 divided by 0 0.85. And that's going to give me now, on here, £124.80. So we can say that the dress was going to be £124.80. Again, with that calculation, don't fall into a trap of saying that this is £124.08. It's 0.8. It would be 0 0.8 if it was £8. So there we go. That is what it cost before. Now, if you think about this, if we found 10% and took that off, uh, sorry, 15%, that's what we'd end up with. We're now told Fred had a pay rise of 25%. He now earns £50.75p and a day. How much did he earn before, how much did he earn each day before the pay rise? I'm going to say that this is his wages. So his wages were increased by 25%. If we want a 25% increase, I can multiply this by 1.25. So this time, we're going to get a lower value. We're going to find out what he earned before, 1.25, and that gave him now £50.75. So his wages were uh, before were £50.75 divided by 1.25. Again, a common error is to find 25% of this and subtract it. So let's go ahead and do that. So 50.75 divided by 1.25, and that is going to give us now on there £40.60p. So we can write £40.60p. So that's what he earned before his pay rise. So as you can see, the last one, the, the price was going down. This time, the value of what he's earning is going up. We'll try one more. Jessie is measuring the amount of water in her pond. There are now 142.04 litres of water in the pond. She says this has increased by 6% since she last measured it. What was the previous measurement? So what I'm going to say then is that the water multiplied by. If it's a 6% increase, we are increasing our multiply will be 1.06. Don't fall into a trap of writing 1.6, that is 60%. So our water multiplied by 1.06 gave us 142.04. So the amount of water that was in there originally is 142.04 divided by 1.06. Straight for a calculator with this, we can see that that is going to decrease. If we multiply this, or sorry, if we divide this by a number greater than 1, it's going to decrease in value. If we divide it by a number less than 1, it will increase in value. So in the numerator of the fraction, 1.4204, and this will give us the answer. So let's check that's all correct. 134. So there were originally 134 litres in the pond. So, some examples of reverse percentage. You don't have to set it up like this. You can simply divide the new quantity by the multiplier of which the original was uh, multiplied, if you like.
So four different examples, we looked at two sale prices where the value had decreased and two examples where the value on these different scenarios where the value had increased.